G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how we can get different components from different endpoints uh, across Microsoft 365 into the Microsoft uh, Loop application. Now, as you may know, we've got different uh, areas or different applications where we can insert specific Loop components. So we've got Teams chats, Teams group chats, we've got Word online, we've got Outlook, uh, we've got the Loop application now. So there's different areas or different applications where we can insert components into where we're working. But depending on where you are determines what components you can insert. Now, one of the components that is available to you is the question and answer component but we can only insert that inside of Word Online, all right? So how do we get, now this, this loop application that has just been released at the time of this recording to public preview, this is supposed to be the home for all of our components. We gather everything that we want into uh, pages and we structure our hierarchy of pages in a workspace in the loop application, but we wanna use the, the everything, all the other components that we've got at our disposal as well. So how do we go about doing that? So in this video, we're gonna look at how we can grab and get the question and answer components uh, into, the, into a Microsoft Loop page because you can't insert it natively in a loop page. So let's go and have a look at, at what I'm talking about. So we can see here that I am on a, uh, I'm in the Mastering Microsoft Loop workspace. I'm on a page called uh, Microsoft Loop Course Project Planning. Now, what if we wanted to add a question and answer component into here? If I hit the forward slash, you can see that I've got what uh, is presented to me is uh, a different components that I can insert into this page. Now, we don't see that Q&A component. Now, if I jump over to Microsoft Teams, now I'm in a group, uh, a one-to-one -one chat here with Alex. If I do the same thing, go down to loop components here, again, we don't have that Q&A component that we can add. We've got different uh, options here, but not the Q&A. Now, if I go over into uh, Outlook Online, you can see now if I've got, an, and I'm starting an email here with Alex, I'm in the body of the email, I go up to the, uh, the ribbon across the top, and you can see I can insert loop components as well. Now, one of these components is Q&A, which doesn't appear in the loop application or inside of a Microsoft Teams chat or group chat. Now, we can also, um, and you may have seen that we can also insert loop components into Word Online. So I'm in the body of a Word document, I go to the insert tab, um, and then I've got a loop component section here, and you can see that I've got checklist, I've got task list, and I've got polls, okay? So I've got a, a restricted um, display of components that I can use inside of Word. So how do we get this Q&A uh, component into the Microsoft Loop application? Well, here's a little bit of a workaround. So we could send, uh, we could start an email conversation or an email thread with Alex, all right? Or we can just click inside the body of the email, hit uh, the loop component, we'll go Q&A, and that's gonna insert this component into the body of this email. It's getting things ready, it's building it out. Um, let's go uh, things to answer. All right, so we'll give this a title, uh, enter a question, uh, what is Microsoft Loop? Um, and then we can ask another question, what is SharePoint? Um, and then we are on our way with our component, all right? Now, let's add a subject, all right? So let's go um, questions to answer, all right? So we'll give this a subject and we might just now send this across, all right? So that's now sending Alex an email with that component inside of the body of the email. Now, if I go to sent items, you'll see that I've got that email that I've just sent here, okay? Now, what we can do is I can now copy this component, all right? We can see the shared locations, I can copy the component, and I can see who has access. So if I go to copy this component now, and then I go back into my mastering Microsoft Loop uh, workspace and go into our page, I can simply now paste this component inside of um, this page 
and you can see that I now have that component that started in Outlook. I've brought it into this loop workspace, into now this uh, loop page, and I've got the Q&A, all right? So just a little bit of a work around there about how you can bring other components that may not necessarily be available in the loop application itself. You can still bring all of those components uh, into uh, your loop page or your, uh, well, your, your loop workspace as well, okay? So I hope that brings you some value today. There are different um, applications where we can insert loop components. They're not all equal, uh, but we can, because of the nature of their portability, we can move them around and bring them into, um, into that, that one authoring canvas there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.